Greetings, my V family all over the world. Welcome to my self-recorded Wednesday message once again. Welcome to week 19. Before I start with my Wednesday message, to all my Muslim brothers and sisters around the world, this is your chief from the bottom of my heart wishing you Eid Mubarak to you, your family, your teams. Please convey my love and respect to your parents. I hope you guys have a great celebration without losing focus on Max out, all right, for the week of uh, the Eid celebrations. And please be safe wherever you are celebrating. I love you guys. And once again, from the bottom of my heart, Eid Mubarak. Now, welcome to the Wednesday message. All right, guys, I'm here with my Abercrombie & Fitch, one of my favorite brands. I love this green. I'm excited. I'm back in full action. Actually, I was never out of action. I was recording videos in the hospital. I was recording videos whenever I had a chance. I hope you guys enjoyed my Instagram uh, live recorded about the strength of leadership that is truly what you learn from your mom okay on Mother's Day now I've been spending a lot of time all right of course seeking guidance and learning from the great one my upline my mentor Dato Sri Vijay Ishwar. and I'm telling you uh, it's amazing how after 23 years of being his downline his student. Every time I talked to him, a few hours ago I spoke to him. I'm looking at my invisible watch. All right. A few hours ago I spoke to Datu Sri Vijay and he conveyed another great lesson for me to apply. And one thing I realized over 23 years, one of the big mistakes people make is they have this strong desire to learn and they actually empty their cup all right, to learn. They want more knowledge, more information, more breakthroughs, all right, uh, for their journey to max out to financial freedom. But after learning, what I realize, a majority of people do not apply what they learn. They gather information, but they fail to apply it consistently in their journey of networking from zero to hero, from a nobody to a somebody. It's not about how much knowledge you have, but it's about how much of the knowledge you have that you apply in everything you do, whether it's a presentation, a training, um, a, a, a Zoom training, a prospecting uh, session, whatever it is, it's about application. And I realized spending 23 years um, listening to Dato Sri Vijay, there are two types of people in the world. All right, and you have to decide on this Wednesday message which one you are. There is one who acquires a large amount of knowledge but only applies very little. And there are people who acquire very little knowledge and apply everything they have learned. And they stretch it and they maximize it even though it's only one thing. They apply it in almost every aspect of their life and that's how they grow. That's how you rise. All right, as an entrepreneur, as a networker. So learning without application is means simply you are a moron. Right? Because this journey of being in the V, being in QNET, is not about you finishing and holding a degree. It's about you finishing and being a max out king and queen. All right, being a great leader who impacts every life that comes in your path. It's about you growing and growing and growing and, and consistently growing non-stop. It's not about saying, I know everything about network marketing. I know the secret formula, how to max out, but your check is still zero. 
doesn't make sense. And today, listening to Dato Sri Vijay, uh, having the privilege of learning from him again, I realize that there's one thing Dato Sri Vijay always spoke about, and he still speaks about it today, is consistency. All right? Inconsistency, the lack of consistency, is cancer, guys. It will destroy dreams. It will destroy life. But I've spoken about this many times. And on this Wednesday message, I want to talk about this word, consistency. All right? And consistency... I believe is the most fundamental secret of my success. If you ask me whether I'm an expert networker, no, I'm not. Okay. If you ask me whether I have all the knowledge about this industry, uh, about the binary, about this, about that, about that, no, I don't. Until today, my presentation is 12 minutes. All right. You like it, you sign up, you don't like it buy a kite and fly it because I'm still going for financial freedom, baby. You understand? And if you ask me right now, privately, of course, on this Wednesday message, Chief, what is your true secret of success? How did I become financially free? There are many secrets, okay? But one glaring one, which is right here in the center of my T-shirt, is not Abercrombie, New York, okay? What's supposed to be in the center of my T-shirt is consistency. That from the day I signed up, all right, 23 years ago, with my upline, Dato Sri Vijay Ishwan, my referrer, until today, I have never, never switched off. That means even if I have a feeling that I'm getting a little bit distracted or I'm switching off even a little bit, I will slap myself and get back into the zone proactively, aggressively, passionately, right? Because switching off is so dangerous. It's as dangerous as this virus. Once you get it, it hits you. You need time to recover. You get, you know, confused. And inconsistency, that switching off for the moment. And this is where people fail to understand. And they think I'm blowing this out of proportion they think that consistency, okay, chief, we get your message, is important. We will try our best to be consistent, but doesn't mean we are not allowed to switch off. You're only human. No, you're not. You're not human. You are a networker who has a dream that you want to achieve. You want to be different from 95, 96, 97, 98, 99% of the world. You want to be a benchmark that others will follow. You want to leave a legacy that people will talk about for years and decades to come. Now, you need to make that decision now. Because every time I talk about consistency, people have this look in their face like, oh, here he goes again talking about consistency. But I am not joking, guys. The reason why you are not achieving what you want to achieve. The reason why is sometimes you see people struggle in this journey and get frustrated is because every time they switch off, they have to restart their engines again. All right? And a few months ago on my Wednesday message, consistency is the most important thing. And I described it of what the mistake people make is that everyone starts network marketing excited. They're excited because they don't know anything. It's something brand new. You understand? Oh, I got to do a presentation. I watched the eight basic building blocks. I got a name list. Look at my upline. He just bought a BMW, Mercedes, Ferrari, flying first class. Unbelievable! I'm going to do this. And they start. And they attend the training. They do a presentation like you guys. The new ones watching, you at the peak of your consistency. And then something happens. It could be something as simple as your cousin's wedding. Who doesn't even remember your bloody name? And you will tell everyone, stop. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to another town for the weekend for my cousin's wedding. And you mentally switch off and you dance. And you have a good time at the wedding. 
And then you come back and you say, okay, applying, what do I do now? But you fail to understand when you went to the cousin's wedding, it was okay, go for weddings. But you switched off here. And when you switched off here, you lose everything that you have built up. Every breakthrough, every wall, every ceiling you broke through is rebuilt automatically. And you go to the bottom and you start the climb again. And it's not easy. It's frustrating and you're confused why you lose your mojo. Right? I don't understand. I just went for a wedding, but it feels different. And then you see your downlines who connected with your uplines. They're getting signups. People are getting checks. And you're struggling just to keep your ego in check and to humble yourself to restart your engines. And this is the frustration everyone has. And I always observe the inconsistency, inconsistency periods of the year. All right? Festive seasons, like Eid is coming. Celebrate Eid. Spend time with your family. But don't switch off from your main purpose in life. That's QNET, that's your dream, that's max Because you're doing it for your family. And you're celebrating with your family. But you think you need to take a break. This is what I don't understand. And this is what frustrates me as your chief, as your upline. All right? Representing the great ones, Japadas Bisma and Dato CVJ, who I have watched with my own eyes for 23 years. They never, 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 never switch off. Never. I've never seen them next. All right? Wherever they go, wherever they travel, whatever they do, our founders have been the most consistent switch on uplines in the industry of network marketing. And I want to duplicate that. All right? The challenge is when you need to celebrate, you think that you can only celebrate if you switch off completely. The world of QNET, the world of financial freedom. I was in the hospital, guys, for COVID. I didn't switch off. All right? I felt like, oh my God, the doctor said I need to rest now. I said, bull sugar. My name is Patman Senatiraja. I never have to take a break or rest. I am your upline. And I decided that I will stay even more switched on in the hospital. Calling people, sending messages, recording videos. Because this is how I have been trained by Dato Sri and Japa, my uplines. You can do anything in life. I am not telling you. Shut off the whole world and oh, tune it, tune it, tune it, tune it, tune it, tune it, tune it. Brother, get married. I'm not going. Tune it, tune it, tune it. Don't be like that. Because that's prospects. That's expanding your name list. That's also some level of normality to keep people coming to you so you can sign them up. All right? Don't be a social outcast. But just because you go to a different environment for three days or two days or celebrate Eid or Diwali or Chinese New Year or Christmas. Right? Doesn't mean you switch off. Doesn't mean you throw your phone in the river. It means you can still send videos at my cousin's wedding, guys. All right? And when I get married one day, it's going to be unbelievable. Just did a presentation signing up that guy. You understand? Whatever. Ten minutes of remembering your journey. Because this is your journey, guys. Financial freedom. Every time... You go for a wedding, you leave this journey and you switch off completely. Every time there's a festival, you leave the journey and then you switch off completely and think you can come back to the same place you left. No. When you leave the journey mentally and switch off and go to your festival or your wedding or your celebration, then when you come back, you don't come back to the same place. You go back and you start again. Because consistency creates momentum. When you are inconsistent, you lose momentum. When you lose momentum, you go back and start again. The theory I explained my Wednesday message long time ago, pushing the car. Imagine the car engine dies, the battery is dead. You push, the hardest part is the beginning. All your strength, you look like you're going to the toilet. Like You're pushing and pushing and pushing. After a while, the car tire starts to move and you can run with the car with one finger pushing the car. You know this. Alright? And just run. One finger. 
You have created momentum. What you morons are doing, when you create momentum in your organization, then you stop, you let go of the finger, and you go to a wedding, or Eid, or Diwali, or Christmas, or holidays. And then the car stops. Then you come back, and you put your finger, and you push, and you push, and you push. The car is not going to move, guys. You've got to do the whole uh, push again to build momentum, but then there's another festival, there's school holidays, there's grandmother's birthday, auntie's birthday, cat's birthday, camel's birthday, puppy's birthday. Unbelievable. So in one year, some of you switch off 25 times, 30 times, 40 times. And then when you see me at VCon and you meet the great Grand Uplines, Japa and Dr. Sri Vijay, you ask a question. Why am I not successful? I've been in this business for three years because you were not consistent for three years. Because you switched off too many times and you had to restart and restart and restart. And then you got tired. And then you lack belief. You think it doesn't work. The industry works. We have proved it for 23 years. We have created the highest number of max out kings and queens compared to any other bloody company out there. And if you want to understand the secret, if you want to know why I am financially free, all right, it's because I remain consistent. That consistency is the most important lesson to practice, to apply, not to learn. So don't watch this Wednesday message and say, I got to be consistent. And then don't do it. You got to learn to apply consistency. Never, never, never switch off, guys. You don't have to be a genius. I have never claimed to be a genius. You don't have to have the most knowledge about the industry, the company, and what's happening out there. No. You just got to find a dream you're willing to fight for, you're willing to die for. You've got to latch on to a mentor and upline, like how I'm blessed to have Dr. Sri Vijay in my life. You've got to follow a proven system, which all of you have fantastic systems. And then you must remain consistent, which means do whatever you have to do, but never, never, never switch off. Because every time you switch off, you start back at zero. Every time you forget this journey and do something and come back to the journey, the journey changes. The environment changes. And I'm begging you, this year, 2021, rise, race, repeat. What is repeat? Consistency. Consistency, consistency it is my secret of success. And it will be your secret of success. One word, one answer to all your problems, to all your questions. Consistency. I love you guys.